We're here with uh, Far 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 Faraz, Farizel, Far Farizel. Yeah, you can call me Fizz if you want. Fariz. Yeah, um, Fariz. I'm in it with Matt. Yeah. Thanks for joining. No problem, brother. Uh, you've um, uh, Underbelly. Yep. You, you start in Underbelly. That was about seven years ago. It was a fair while ago. Uh, mm. A lot of people still talk about it. What do you, what uh, What's your take on Underbelly and... Uh, well, it was, um, it, you know, I was I was new to the scene. It was my first uh, big series, so for me, I was I was I was introduced to the, the Australian public, and um, you know, it was a great role and to you know roll around and, and run Kings Cross in 2010, just before it kind of sunk. <laughs> I mean, it, by the government, yeah. but um, yeah, so it was it was a great experience for me, and and um, it was a, it was a great time to kind of. Uh, um, to, to shoot at that time because it was, there was a lot of energy. And do you think uh, Underbelly opened the door for you uh, in other sort of other gigs or I mean you're doing yeah, uh, I mean, husbands now. Yeah, is that it, off the back of Underbelly? Yeah, I think it did. Um, I think it introduced me to a lot of producers and and different uh, network network heads. Um, I think uh, because of Underbelly, I got exposed and you know that leads to a to the next job. You know. Yeah. Uh, you didn't want me to ask it, but uh, Red Power Ra Red Power Ranger. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were the Red Power Ranger. So yeah, that was yeah, that, that was a while. That? that was a that while ago, Matty. Yeah, 15 years ago. You've been, you've been doing your research, mate. I have. You've I have. been doing a bit of googling, have you? I have. <laughs> that old chestnut. Yeah, uh, that's probably about 10 years ago, man. I was yeah. shot in New Zealand. Um, so I spent about six, seven months in Auckland yeah. shooting that. Made some amazing friends over there, and. Um, yeah, man, all about the spandex, brother. The spandex. All about the bloody spandex. And back to House Husbands, yeah. you, um, uh, where where is it filmed? Where where do they film it? They film it in Melbourne. Right. So, uh, so for the last four and a half years, I've been spending six months of my time in Melbourne, and it's you know it's a great show, and it's actually it took me by surprise. I never thought it's going to go for as long as it has. Um, and people still watch it, and it's great. Um, people are still watching the, the, the show. Uh, it means I get hired, and I, you know, I get to pay for my uh, my rent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, a good. Uh, a little birdie tells me you're you're hooking up with a good uh, friend of mine, Dan McPherson. Not hooking up, but uh, team, teaming up. <laughs> what? Teaming up. Where is that going, should mate? We cut that bit? No. <laughs> Teaming you mean up. Oh, you mean working with working yeah, with yeah no, no there's no up. there's no hooking up here mate no. we don't really roll that way <laughs> da, I'm, 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 I know Daniel doesn't I mean, he's married mate he's married and I know Zoe as well Zoe, so uh, congratulations people. to Daniel and Zoe but um yeah we uh, well it's it's called the Osiris Child uh, Science Fiction Volume One it comes out next month and I play a character called Clarence so it's uh, yeah it's exciting man. Now, um, acting, there's obviously highs and lows. Um, how do you deal with that? And so, you know, there's ups and downs, I would imagine. <laughs> you know, with, I think with every industry, I think it's about trying to keep that, that ball rolling. Mm. And especially in, in acting, there's so much competition. Mm. And even when you start working, even when you get a job like, say, for instance, me playing uh, Justin and House Husbands, Certain producers and certain network heads maybe you know pigeonhole you and say you know what he's working he's too busy they don't really bring you in but you know like that's they're the, they're the stigmas you got to break through and you just got to keep you know I'm still auditioning you know I still go through the audition process and I, I get called up and I you know I have to convince a, bu a bunch of people that I'm right for the job just like anyone else you know so it's just about keeping that momentum rolling and that energy kind of. Yeah, pursuing that energy. Yeah, and what do you do? So, what other things do you do to, to sort of keep fit? I mean, we we had a solid session today with the boys. How, how did, did you find that? And uh, um, what, what other things do you do? I've I've heard you've done a bit. Of, you do a bit of meditation as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I try to keep fit, mm. like yourself. Um, we did a pretty solid session today, I would say. It was a really, good one. it was uh, that um, forty-five kilo ball walking around that almost uh it was nearly, me. nearly nearly your weight it was almost my weight but um i try to keep fit man i try to uh, you know not miss a, a session i meditate as you mentioned before we talked about it before you know and i think meditation is uh, you know people don't know much about it but it's uh, it really gives you a time to spend with yourself and yeah. to give yourself some space even if you even if you're, you, you know, we live busy lifestyles. You know, you, you're going through. You've got a business yourself. You know, you've got probably other projects that you want to do. Yeah. Um, you have dreams, but also, 
the, the days are so quickly, there's so much information, there's so many people coming in and out of your day that sometimes you just need to uh, back off a bit and give yourself space. I'm talking about space internally, mm. so so the answers Sorry come. Sorry to interrupt, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, mate. No, no, Firash, I've never met anyone by no. the name of Firash. Firash, Firash. Firash, what yeah. is Firash? What's uh, the origin of the name? Firash? It's uh, my parents are Lebanese, yeah. Lebanese? Yeah, you my know, man. I feel sorry for Lebanon. Why is that? Because they're between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> hey, but, hey, blood of resistance, we're surviving, bro. Blood's thicker than water, mate. Yeah, that's, <laughs> hey, that's the best thing. Uh -huh. Tell it? me, Firash, what does it mean? Perspicacity means clear vision of the mind, and it means... Uh, they're going to take over the interview. And it the means illumination <laughs> of the nation. No, no, illumination of the nation. Are you talking about transparency? I'm talking about clarity. Clarity, yeah. Well, clear vision, clarity, clear, yeah, right, yeah, absolutely. Same hymn sheet, hey? You got to read off the same hymn sheet. Clear vision, the same your vision right hymn now. sheet. Hymn sheet. Him. H Y M. Him. H Y M. H Y M N. Okay. Him. Like yeah, like poetry. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so is, it, is, is this is this you trying to uh, um, out 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 no, this? No, 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 not at all. I've just never heard anyone by the name. Yeah, Fira. yeah. Fira, it's well, this is the first time. Uh, it's the first so time you're on. How do you say hello? Super key fuck. Key fuck. Key fuck. Key fuck. That sounds like this, a This is our man who's been he's been drinking excuse, all day. Excuse my French. He's completely the opposite excuse, of what we're, we're trying to uh, excuse, sell here. That's yeah. all right. Excuse my French, mate. You know what they used to say? You don't even know how to speak French. This is meditation of a, of a different kind right <laughs> Merci here. beaucoup. Is that it? Merci beaucoup. Yeah. I right. right. amo bailar porque me gusta mover mi trasero en las noches eh, o algunas noches. veces en la playa con delfines, señor. Bu buenas noches, chincorri, chincorri. Are you talking about Kwazulu Natal now? Are you talking about Kwazulu Natal now? Are you talking about Kwazulu Natal now? Bufana, Bufana. All right, we're going to finish. All right, Thank mate. you, my All man. So, Firash. Firash. Firas. Firas. Yeah. All up in here. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, all right, anyway. mate. Send regards to Lebanon, eh? Uh, absolutely, bro. No road to Damascus. Hey, you, uh, you here, know mate. where we are. You just hear us. No. Oh, mate. I know. It's it's the volume, man. Oh, you know, mate. I know. It's Down that's in a, Melbourne, you know it's an ancestral it? lineage, man. Mute city, it's blood mate. of resistance. Mute, that's mute, why we're loud. We mute, can't we can't mute, help it, bro. Mute, mute city, mate. What's that? No. Do you know what mute city is? What's that? The volume's on mute. I don't know what he's saying, but all right. See you later, bro. All the joy, man. You're the rooster, mate. I don't like follow rooster. football. Rooster. Rugby. Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> anyway, good to meet you guys, all the rest, yeah? Cheers, bro. Now that is yeah. an interesting yeah. interview. <laughs> this is definitely the best minute with Matt we've had. Anyway, uh, meditation. That Me is, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's meditation of a different kind right there. He needs some meditation. He needs some medication, really. He needs some, yeah, medication. He needs to anyway, numb. let's wrap that up. We'll call oh, it man. Wrap. Thanks very much. Thank you, Matty. Pleasure. Thank yeah. you for coming today, too. No problem, brother. It's good Appreciate to have you. Appreciate it. Yes. Cheers. You! That's what happens when you come to the eastern suburbs, man. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Kings Cross. <laughs>